Hello guys, gals, and unbinary pals, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanted to go over how to make guilt with only Culinarian in patch 6.2 and Walker. Now, of course, this is a continuation of my focusing on the individual crafters and gatherers, and this, of course, is one installment. If you're interested in seeing the other videos I made for other crafters and gatherers, the playlist is at the top right. We will go over how to make gill in the lower levels, different types of crafting, lucrative items, and of course, any and all lists that is mentioned will be down below, and YouTube members, Twitch subs, and Discord boosters do get access to these lists earlier. With all that being said, let's get into it. So to start, culinary is a little bit different than the gear focus classes. I would liken it to mostly with alchemist. It is very similar in the sense of endgame crafting, low level crafting, and really just in general crafting. But of course, let's start with low level items. Now a great place to look for good recipes for any crafter at the low levels is your master books. Now I do have a video dedicated to just getting all your master books, so if you don't have them, I do recommend watching that. But of course, the first one is Magitech Repair Materials. It seems a little bit random, but um, people buy a lot of it. I assume it's for something with airships or submarines, but personally, I don't know. And personally, I don't care what it's used for, because my god, is the price pretty good for how much people are paying for it, and for how much it's bought every single day. The next low-level item is Beef Stew. You don't need a master book for this, and try to craft it at high quality. In fact, you have to craft it in high quality, because that's what it's used for, specifically for the culinary class quest. Next is the Kaiser Roll a level 55 craft, no master book required. Again, try and craft at high quality because that is once again a culinary class quest. Next, the soup level 54 and you don't need a master book. In the same story, you need to craft at high quality for the class quest. And finally, the last craft at the level 50 range is the tailor-made eel pie. And you're probably wondering, why in the world is this so expensive? Well, if I remember correctly, it is for the Riverborn Relic Weapon and I am working on a series going into depth in each expansion, seeing what you can make. And the relic weapon items are pretty lucrative. So this is one of them, and it is quite expensive for what it is. But now you're thinking, there's a lot in common here. Class quest items, low level items. Now before we go into the higher levels, I do want to go ahead and take a look at the team craft list for the culinary class quest items. Now here is our class quest item list. We of course are going to go here to pricing mode if you are interested in the other class quest item list for the other crafters and gatherers you can go to my discord and under all the crafters there is the list specifically for them right there if you want it i do recommend looking at this if you are crafting at lower levels it's a great opportunity to craft something that is needed and that will be bought while not having to spend a whole lot to just go ahead and craft the darn thing now of course click up here under spending and then after that build price space on market board prices your server only and now here you have all the items and the price to craft which is of course the most important part and i do emphasize looking at the best deals and focusing on them. The Deep Fried Okeanos, 479 to craft, you can sell each for 5,000 gil. The Moral Salad, price of craft, 264 gil. You can sell each one for 6,800 gil, which is quite a bit. And of course, there is two, 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 two items per each item. But of course, if you're crafting culinary and crafts, you're going to get three per item. So I will go ahead and fix that. The Beet Soup, craftable at 494 gil, sellable at 7,800. Holy smokes, grilled sweet fish, price of craft, 768. You can sell it at high quality for 28,000. This is pretty much a gold mine. So again, if you are a lower level crafter or you don't simply just don't have enough guild to go ahead and make a high investment, this is a great place to start. And of course, all this is in the pinned comment. At the level 60 to 80 mark, we're going to start with king cake. This is 
Also for your relic weapon, this is never going to go out of need. There will always be a place for crafts like this. Now, next up are caramels. Again, try and craft these at high quality because these fall under the Lave Quest items for 60 to 80. Next is cotton seed oil. Next is the jerked gemel. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the list that these pull from. And here is the Culinarian Lave Quest 60 to 80. It's kind of hard to find items that fall under this level range that are bought pretty periodically because simply food is not worth it at this level unless it's being used for something and that's why leaf quests come into play because people buy these items at high quality or sometimes normal quality to go ahead and level up quickly since you don't even have to craft the items yourself you just have to turn them in so if you went ahead and crafted everything, spending 155,000, you would make a profit of 1,800,000. Now, of course, take a look what's actually worth it. Coffee biscuit, price of craft 434, but you're only selling it for 700 gil each. Nomad meat pie, price of craft 496, only selling it for 154. So that's why it's important to go ahead, take a look at the list to specialize it for your server because it could be completely opposite for you. This is how it is on Louis Soir. So again, make sure you look at the list. Now from levels 80 to 90, the first item is the Sai to Vanu Vanu. Now this is again for leave quests, but not only leave quests for people to buy, you can go ahead and turn this in to the mountain steeped leave quests. And it's basically our version of coffee biscuits, but you can also sell it at high quality on the market board. And as you can see, people buy a ton of this, like a heck ton of this every single day. So when we go ahead and look at the list, we can go see just how much profit there is to be made with these items specifically for leave quests but Sai Bonu Bonu is not the only one. Next is the Noodles of Alpis. Now, not selling quite as well as the Sai Bonu Bonu, but also for quite a bit and for pretty decently often, considering this is a lower level craft. Next is Borscht, another lower level craft. And again, try and craft these high quality. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the list specifically made for level 80 to 90. And here is the list. Now, it's not just full craft crafts, half crafts like the northern sea salt. You can craft this at 165 gil, but you can sell it at high quality for 500 each, or you can sell it at normal quality for 251. So if you just go ahead and quick craft, you can easily sell these off, or you can try and get the high quality, especially if you're a higher level crafter or max level with melts, then it's super easy for you to go ahead and high quality this and to sell it for quite a profit. Again, the Sai Vonu Vonu, craftable at 751 gil, you can sell it for almost twice as much, 1,458, which is pretty darn good. Noodles of Alpis, craftable at 725, sellable at 9,000 for high quality. So once again, if you spend 500k, you can make 3 million quite easy. But always try and look what sells the best and focus on that. Now that we're done with the low level section, we can start going into the end game crafts. And of course, we're starting with collectibles. Now I do have this list for every crafter under here for purple collectible crafting, meaning purple scripts. But of course, the rare fire Psycon for voice is the culinary version for purple scripts. So with four crafts, you can either get one materia 10 and with two crafts, you can get one immutable solution and to see whether or not you're actually getting a profit of course select your verified psycon per voice make sure that you've already filled in with the updated prices full prices based on markable prices and then again your server only right here and once you've filled that select what you want to buy and select what you're going to craft and here being culinarian so if i went ahead and bought all the pinolo tomatoes with the purple scripts that i've got from crafting the per voice i would make a benefit of 31,000. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and buy an immutable solution, I would just go here, lower it down to two and see whether or not I would make money. So in fact, I would lose money if I went ahead and crafted my immutable solutions. So of course, this is a great way to make sure that you're actually 
not losing money with your crafting. And we also have the list for white scripts. If you go ahead and scroll down, you can go and see the rarefied archon loaf, crab cake, happiness, juice, giant haddock dip, and giant popoto pancakes. These are the culinary items. And you can go ahead and select what you want to craft select what you want to buy. This case will be the Kingcraft Demi Materia, and if you spend 39000 in crafting your scripts, you can make a benefit of 592000 If you don't want the Demi Materia, just simply select something else and go with the Cunning 7s, and with the Cunning 7s, you can make a benefit of 57000 So, of course, use these to your benefit and make sure that these prices reflect yours by checking with the list. And now, finally, end game crafting with your culinarian. Now, of course, raid food is your bread and butter. You can make an absolute heck ton if you got the correct stats, the correct melts, and the best gear. But also, not just raid food, but also crafting and gathering food. It is quite a good set of profit. It is bought extremely often. You can make a ton of gil with this as well. And of course, we have a list for all of it. And here are all the items. It is mixed in with the pots, but you can just ignore them. You can go here, see the price of craft, and see what you want to focus on. Now, I do emphasize, if you are wanting to get into endgame crafting, I just posted a video. I know I'm sending you off to all my other videos, but trust me, there's a lot of information there, and the best key point from that video is take a look at when your server raids. My server tends to raid the most on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. The prices go up on a day like yesterday. It being Sunday, the prices were very low. So if you buy low and of course sell high, true as rain, you're gonna make money. But if you spend 2.1 million, including the potions, just ignore them, you can make a ton of profit, 4.2 million with just this list. So, of course, everything is down below. And if you're needing a few macros or wondering what melds you need for endgame crafting, I do have some links to the current melds, some miscellaneous macros, and of course, my macros that I use for food and of course, potions and other things, along with my stats. So, of course, if you are interested, all this is in the Discord. And all you have to do to get these macros is just click view whole file, control C, and control V in the macros in Final Fantasy. And so that was how you can make gil with just your culinarian. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this can help you, whether you're brand new to the game, whether you're figuring out what crafter to go ahead and level, or you finally want to get into end game crafting. Of course, thank you to everyone that supports me on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube. You've all keep the channel going. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.